So a couple weeks back, I put a poll out on our YouTube community tab. And I just asked the subscribers if they've ever considered owning a rental property. Pretty simple little poll. And the options were, of course, yes, no. And then the third option was, I already own one or more. So over half, 56% said, yes, I am currently considering that or have in the past. 10% said, I'm already on my way. I'm already a landlord of some form and own rental properties or multiple rental properties. And the rest said no way. So we'll go through a couple things today. One, I'll touch on three key attributes that I keep seeing time and time again in investors that have success and lacking from those that kind of come and go with one or two properties and get out of investing fairly quickly. And then I'll end with the biggest reason that I am investing and I think the biggest reason that anybody should consider investing in real estate. And that will also be associated to what are the returns that I've seen over the first 10 years of investing on average what is my cash on cash return i will go over that as well but let's give you a little bit of a baseline in terms of where am i coming from what have i invested in? what's my background so you have a little more context in my thought process and how that maybe relates to you so a few notes here so for my first 10 years, I worked a nine to five job. So investing in real estate was completely a side, nights and weekends type of job. It was not my full-time thing. I bought one to four unit properties. I really focused on duplexes, triplexes, or fourplexes. And each property was an average value of $200,000. Over those first 10 years, I invested in four different properties. That's three duplexes and one triplex. So that got me a total of nine doors or nine units that I personally managed myself on the nights and weekends and really didn't have too much trouble handling that amount of work and that amount of tenants. And then I was always targeting to make $150 to $200 per door after all expenses are paid. And that even includes capital expenditures such as roofs or HVAC systems, those big ticket items that can go down and really hurt your cash flow. Now that's where I was as an investor. I won't dive into kind of where I'm going now, now that I'm full time splitting my time with YouTube and real estate investing. Obviously things are a little different now because I can focus more time on that. So with that baseline established, what are the three attributes that I think you need for success in real estate? Number one is capital, number two is skills, and number three is hustle. Now, what does that mean? Number one, capital. You have money, you have disposable income that you are looking to deploy in some type of investment. I would like this usually to be tens of thousands of dollars, maybe in the 20 or $30,000 range, but it kind of depends on your area. Sometimes you're gonna need a ton more than that, or sometimes you'll need less depending on your strategy. Number two, skills. That is really the focus of this channel, and that is enabling people to do their own repairs around their house, educate themselves on the different systems, and save time and money by taking on those projects. So how comfortable are you with electrical, plumbing, carpentry, paint, flooring, and many of the other things that would be involved in repairing a rental or even fixing up a place prior to renting it out? And the number three attribute is hustle or even time. So do you have extra time in your normal week and also the hustle or energy to get after it, to go out there, find real estate, fix a place up, and then manage your properties and give them the attention they need so you have long-term success in real estate investing. Now, if you're thinking that's a lot and you have a lot of missing pieces, so how am I ever gonna be you know, successful in real estate investing? I do wanna say, I think you actually only need two of the three to be successful, and you can have any combination of the two. So you might have skills and hustle. Maybe you're in the trades, maybe you work concrete, maybe you're a handyman and you have some extra time. You might be able to find some capital to help you get that first rental property and then you really take on most of the project to save money and get that rented out. Or maybe you have hustle 
in skills, you understand a lot of the systems, you know how to do that work, but you just don't have any time, you can hire professionals. And because you have a knowledge of DIY, you have a knowledge of those systems, you're really going to minimize the chance of your being taken advantage of because you're going to know what to expect on the job. You can go over and monitor what's going on and be confident it's being done right. But you're able to leverage the professionals because you just don't have that extra time. So those are the three attributes. And let me know what you think. What am I missing? I think there is a wild card in there in terms of dealing with uncertainty and a people person. You can definitely argue that those things are critical uh, just to lower your stress and keep you excited about investing in real estate so you continue to build your portfolio over time. And then finishing up, what is the biggest reason I think you should invest in real estate, especially if you have two of those attributes, which are gonna increase the likelihood of success in investing in real estate. And that is the ability to get a good return on the money that you have saved or the capital that you have saved. I've talked to countless people over the years that are getting closer to retirement and as they get closer to the retirement, they're starting to really consider investing in real estate. Here's the problem. So if you're starting to think about investing in real estate when you're retiring and you haven't really started that ball rolling, well, when you start investing in real estate, you're not getting the best deals. You're probably overpaying. You're making mistakes. You don't have a lot of connections, so it's hard to get contractors. There's just a normal learning curve of any different area that you're going to go through. So why not do that before you get close to retirement? So by the time you're getting close to retirement and you really want to start go to passive income, somebody else is going to manage your properties, somebody else is going to do the work, you've made a lot of those mistakes over the years and you now know how to get a good return on your money. You have connections out there. You have people that want to team on properties where you can just provide the funding, which I think is an awesome option. But the best opportunities come when you're in the game and actually out there transacting real estate and building a portfolio of rental properties. So the sooner, the better. And by the time you're ready to slow down, relax a little bit, spend more time with friends and family, you already know how to get a really good return on your money. All right. And then what did I see over the first 10 years? Now, it should be said, I was very active in my properties. I was managing the properties myself. So it's somewhat of an investment, but also somewhat of a job where I was putting probably three to five hours per week towards my rental properties. But over those first 10 years, my cash on cash return was 22%, which if you know anything about the stock market or other investment options, that is a great return. And if you can sustain that over years or even decades, you can see how that can really help you get ahead. So what do you think? Are you guys gonna invest? Do you guys have questions? Let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate getting your feedback and hearing from you. But if you wanna dive deeper and look at the type of properties I'm currently buying, check out this video right here. It'll go through the complete financials of a fix and flip I did in a small town in my area. And this is more of the stuff that I'm doing recently. So thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.